My name is Titiana Moss and I've been on social media for five months. And here's what I've learned. Being present is the present. I felt like at one point I was just consumed with what everybody else was doing around me and it wasn't allowing me to really, really tap into what was I passionate about anymore. I found myself in an everyday rut, um, either doom scrolling or just constantly trying to escape my own reality in somebody else's screen. And it became draining. It became draining not being authentic to who I was as a person and what I wanted to be able to do with my own life because I was so consumed with everybody else was doing. I'm telling you like, since I've been on social media, it's just been honestly a whole 360 on my perspective of how I look at things now. Even when I'm going out places, a lot of times people are in their phone. I'm like actually trying to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the event wherever I'm with, with my peoples and everybody's on their phone. And I'm not faulting it because that was me a couple of months too, but I've really, really just took in advantage of being in nature and being in atmospheres that maybe I would have thought about doing unless I got off social media because I actually wanted to focus and try to put myself in different atmospheres to push myself and to just think outside the box and live my life to the fullest. Like, what is there to live a life if you are just literally just consumed by what everybody else is doing? So being present is definitely something that I take advantage of now. I just feel so much more better about just being out and actually doing stuff because I know I'm going to fully show up. I'm going to be there and you're going to actually going to get all of my attention. I'm not going to be distracted by anything else. Sometimes you're not depressed. You just need to change the scene. Humans, we are a nature of habit. So we do things that we're used to doing because it's the norm, it's the routine. But I found that getting outside and really just being in nature or just doing something that I typically wouldn't do really helps me to elevate my mood. These last couple months have been definitely something, but being on social media has really allowed me to just like get back into like my own reality and smell the flowers, smell the roses, smell what's going on around me. Life is so beautiful, it's meant to be lived. And sometimes when we're on social media, we can just get so caught up and consumed with what is going on in front of the screen that we forget to see what's around us. Which is nature, it's outings, it's friends, it's family, it's so much more things. Again, sometimes to get out that funk, you just gotta get out the house and get moving. sight out of mind is a real thing don't think you're an exception to the rule when you're off social media people forget you exist i've had literally probably i can count on my two hands that's how many people have reached out to me these last couple of months and granted i was not getting off of social media to have people reach out to me it was for my own personal reasons but it would have been nice for the people that actually consider to be my friend in real life to check up on me but that's just the reality of what social media has done to us like it has made it so easy to access everyone and it's not to the point where people feel like they don't need to reach out to you in real life because they have this platform to rely on to be able to reach out to you so it definitely yeah people will forget about you i will say that much like it's a lot of people like i'm like dang like they ain't said nothing to me or whatever i could have been dead at this point and they wouldn't even know but hey that's the world we live in Everything is not what it appears to be. Social media is really not a real place. And people will think just because this person has designer, driving a nice car, all of this different stuff, that they live in a life the whole time they're in debt. And I'm saying this from experience, it is not worth it to put yourself in a hole in order to keep up with the Joneses. Like everybody is living this life that 
they're not really living in real life. You may think that the person that you're looking at on social media has a perfect relationship, perfect job, perfect everything, whole time they're going home every day, getting cheated on, beat it on, crying, all types of stuff. Like, seriously, comparison is a thief of joy. Just enjoy your own life and don't worry about what everybody else is going on. Because like I said, social media is not a real place. is a real thing. Don't fall into the hype. Do I really need to buy this shit? Hey, you. Yeah, put it back. You about to pick up that shit, you don't need it again. Put it back. This one actually smells good, y'all. Not me not listening to my own advice. find ways to promote yourself without overusing your social media apps that was one of the things I feel like kept me on social media for a longer time than what I felt like I needed to be when I felt myself like all right I need to go on a break I was trying to tell myself like oh I need to be on social media in order to promote my YouTube and whatnot and I'm just like to be honest people wasn't engaging and really stuff like that on my other platforms anyway so it really didn't make a difference. So I'm here to tell you firsthand that you don't have to overuse social media in order to promote yourself on another platform. I've been able to grow organically on YouTube without having my Instagram and my Facebook. So that just proves to show to you that you don't necessarily need it in order to grow your platforms. Yes, it can be useful, but you don't need it as well. Which brings me to my next point. Set a timer for yourself so you can avoid doom scrolling. Me personally, that is something that I struggle with. And at times, I still do it a little bit. It's only because of TikTok though. But I definitely set a timer now and I put it on an hour. So literally, once that hour is up, I have to get off TikTok and I got to find something productive to do. So if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you're over consuming social media too much, try giving yourself a time limit. And you can use this for pretty much any app, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, I believe YouTube too. You can go like in your settings in the app store or whatever. And you can just put up there like your restriction time and boom, there you go. Now you can avoid doom scrolling like your girl. Working out is a cheat code in life. There's so many different ways that you can get your body moving. Workouts don't have to be boring. You can do a dance class. You can go on a walk. You can even do a pole dancing class. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, as long as you're moving your body, that's the most important goal. And it doesn't hurt that you end up losing weight during the process as well. Working out is also a great stress reliever and a way for you to just get out a lot of different pent up aggression that you got throughout the day. Something new, read a book. And lastly, fear is holding you back from a full life. Who cares who's watching?